somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn folks today we are taking a look at avatar the last airbender this is season one we're on episode six called masks and like i said i don't recall all the details of the animated series we did a watch through of it one time oak and myself so there's been a lot of deviation. I'm starting to realize now why some of you folks are a bit upset, but either way, I'm in this for a fun ride. Hey, I'm still having fun with it. As always, this is a fun interpretation, if you will, of what has already gone down on the on the animated series, but I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see where this goes. Maybe it'll be a cameo by Jim Carrey in this one. <laughs> ah, little, uh, little tease on the uh, last episode about things to come for this episode, if my uh, avatar memory is uh, serving me well but um you know i i mirror mason quinn i get where people are a little upset still uh, trying to have a fun ride with this so i'm pumped for this one all right without further ado let's go we spend so much time hiding who we really are making sure no one sees the person we truly want to be so it's hard to remember there was a time when we were actually excited to show the world our true face. Free burn here. Mm -hmm. That uniform suits you well. Does it look right? I had trouble with the shoulder guard. <laughs> a little crooked, but... Your gauntlets are laced incorrectly, but no one will notice. What? Help me fix it! But no one will <laughs> notice. You would notice. <laughs> First War Council meeting. Uh-oh. Ozai, however, seems to enjoy having an audience. Father says he welcomes different opinions. How do I look? Like a prince. Oh, that, that was in. Oh, it's a hell of a room he's got there. Oh, I oh. like that jump cut. That was nice. Lieutenant G, I asked you a question. We were given new orders. New orders by who? I think it's time for a new strategy. You think? I am the one hunting the Avatar. I am in charge of this mission. I am the commander. <laughs> Whose ship is this? I am an admiral. Fire Lord Ozai saw fit to put me in charge of all operations related to the capture of the Avatar. Ooh. Resources at my disposal, no matter how minimal. Ooh. Oh, boot them right down. A few personnel changes I'd like to make. Until then, carry on. <laughs> oh, he hit him with the, hit him oh with the... no. Lieutenant, do you know what the punishment for mutiny is? I do, and that's why I can't do what you say. Admiral Zhao was very clear with these orders and what would happen if we didn't follow them. Are you seriously gonna let this spineless slug tell us what to do? He doesn't know what's at stake. We can't let him come in and take it all away, not after everything we've been through. He is an admiral. For the last three years, we've only had each other, and that's still true. Only those of us on this boat know what it's been like. Zhao is not the one who deserves your loyalty. Zuko is. Loyalty? General, with all due respect, your nephew doesn't know the meaning of the word. If he did, he would have shown us a lot more respect. Instead, we've had to put up with his insults and abuse and tantrums. Especially him. Sacrifice? Because he's never had to sacrifice anything. Oh, really? Be a uh, prince. His he's not sacrifice. our prince. Ooh. I mean, is he wrong? Well, especially the way he's treated uh, G. You want to know how he got those scars? <laughs> he knows far more about sacrifice than you can ever know. Are we going to get the reveal in this episode? How it all went <sighs> down? <laughs> Throw in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mount <laughs> Doom. <laughs> Hey, look, uh, fly out there. Hey, easy. Yeah. easy. <laughs> you know what he was flying like, Answer? <laughs> yeah, but he, yeah, but you see he was flying by himself and not on Appa or a giant eagle, which would have been highly visible. That's right. It's a lot easier to sneak in by himself flying. Yeah, That's true. all I'm saying. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Oh, look oh. at that. Oh, like, God, has a giant banner made of himself. It's like walking into Oak's house. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> what? Where? Well, first we have each pillar to get by in the front yard of Oak posing. <laughs> Statues in my front yard. 
Uh, my name is Aang, and I'm here to visit the Shrine of Aptar Roka. Wait! <laughs> Just thought he was gonna show up and get a welcome. I'm a friend. Ah. Uh, whoa! Secret door. Our Roku Shrine. Quickly! He must be close! Oh, oh follow oh, it! Oh! Uh, there you go, Nyla. Caught us out, have we? Mm. I believe the Avatar represents not any one kingdom, but the whole of a unified world. Oh, look at that. The Great Sage and the others believe the Fire Lord is our true spiritual leader. These are relics from previous avatars that my grandfather gathered for safekeeping. I wonder if who I need to make a... contact with Avatar Roku. He's the only one who could tell me how to save my friends. I wonder if who done a freeze frame on that shelf who would have noticed anything. Step aside. Great Sage, let's poise the Avatar. He is the hope for the world. Fire is not meant to dominate the other elements. It should exist in balance with them. The only one who provide balance is Fire Lord Osai. He will unify the world, not the Avatar. Oh. Step aside. I can't do that. Then you shall burn, along with the rest of the non-believers. Oh. Who dares disturb the... <laughs> Ooh. It's me, Aang. Is it not customary to bow before your elder and to avert your eye <laughs> and hop on one leg? <laughs> 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 ah, God, I'm good. <laughs> it's good to see you, Aang. But what took you so long? <laughs> uh, funny story. She told me that I need to figure things out on my own. That it was part of my journey. Sounds like her. <laughs> I thought you'd all be like that. Aren't avatars incarnations of each other? We share the same spark, but we are our own people. No. Yeah. What did Kyoshi tell you the role of the Avatar was? She said I need to be a fierce, merciless warrior. <laughs> the Avatar must resort to force and intimidation. The Avatar must also be a diplomat. We can solve the world's problems without hurting anyone? We can try. There are consequences if we fail. Painful consequences. But like Yoshi, I am here to aid you in your journey. Anything you need. It has to do with Ko. Anything but that. <sighs> Ko is a predatory spirit who can hurt you in ways you can't imagine. He's captured my friends, and if I don't do something, he'll be lost forever. Please. I heard you defeated him once. No, I never defeated him. I only managed to take something from him. Perhaps you come to return. Ugh. What did you take? A totem that represents something that Ko needs and cannot forget. The pennant belonged to the Mother of Faces, an ancient spirit. She is Ko's mother. Ko longs for the same thing we all do. Family. Family. Sounds like something you'd be willing to trade for. Thank you, Roka. I hope that you're able to save your friends. But the truth is, for the Avatar, friends can be a liability. The Avatar has to make the impossible choices. Trust me, it'll save you and the ones you love a lot of pain. So is it going to be on the shelf there? I'm assuming so. Where is it? Yep, right there, there sure is. enough. Oh. Oh, he... What happened to them? Our guy did work. Paralyzed. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, right in the neck. It's like instantly red, too. So you're the Avatar, huh? Not sure what all the fuss is about. You need to let me go. People are depending on me. I've heard the stories about how you're gonna save the world. Time's up, Avatar. You did it. You actually got him. Feel free to count. I trust you. You know why? Because you're so cute. <laughs> Mm. Keeps going after that. Please, just let me do what I have to do, and I swear I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't return soon, I'll lose them forever. Why don't you listen to me? Do you know what it's like to have people depending on you? I do. Then please, 
Let me save them. No. No. You couldn't have always been this way. What happened to you? Oh, here we go. The Earth Kingdom's forces are concentrated along the southern coast. They're anchored by cliffs. They can outflank any attacks. What would you do? Your Highness, I would suggest... Not you. <laughs> Zuko, what would you do? Horn's tactic. Enveloping flanks, leaving an escape route to draw them out. General. We could advance a division. The enemy's firepower focused on that diversion. We can launch pinning attacks here and here. If you send them into the heart of the forces, how will they retreat? Ugh. Ooh. Brutal. You're going to sacrifice them. Sacrifice is a part of war. What division do you suggest? The 41st. The most of new recruits, they're expendable. Oh, jeez. This isn't something you learn in a textbook. Little boys should know better than to play at war. I still think they would try to show a little it's bit a more respect plan. to the prince. Oh, here we go. What did you say? I said, it's a terrible plan. Soldiers are gonna die, and for what? It's unworthy of a Fire Nation officer. You dare question- it's Enough! Oh boy. There is only one way to resolve this. Oh no. Agni Kai. Oh, they're oh. teasing. They're teasing. Someone's out there. Oh. Let us through. Do you know who I am? Of course we do. Just as we all know you're in defiance of my order. Which means that by disrespecting me, you're dishonoring your father. Uh, we'll take the avatar. Over my dead body. Tempting, however. Oh. Ozai was gracious enough to lend them to me. It said they can shoot the wings off a glow fly. Nice that they're introducing the archers right now too. Mm -hmm. Where will you take him? <laughs> Straight to Capital City. I'm sure the Fire Lord is eager to take possession of his prize, and I don't want him to be disappointed any more than he already has been. Ira lost his top knot, guys. <laughs> we'll have to watch out for the archers, but Zhao will most likely station him by the Avatar. So Zuko! Hohai Stronghold is impenetrable. Why do you think Zhao told us he was going there? He knows attacking it would be suicide. Entire to, armies have tried and failed. Trying to bait him. Pohai lies inside Fire Nation borders. Going there would violate your banishment. I don't care. But Ozai does. And if he finds out. But the Avatar is lost. Right now, Zhao has the upper hand. But sooner or later, he'll make a mistake. And that's when we can make our move. Until then, patience. Just like his game. Mm hmm. Pi, just like Pi Show. Yep. Uh, you think Zuko and the word patience necessarily go hand in hand? Not right now. Not at this point in the story, I don't think. Again, what if he gets an itch? I know. You have to let me go. No, no. There are four guards, not three, and both his hands and his feet are shackled. Make sure you get it right. There are innocent lives at stake. Pretty sure this isn't getting you anywhere, buddy. Yeah, not against him. You won't be killed. If you die, you'll just be reborn. We'd have to begin our search for the Avatar all over again. So you'll live, though not well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Still got him with that. Ah, made him laugh. <laughs> Blow all the hot air you want. It won't change your fate. No fate. What are you doing? Don't write that down. <laughs> 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 he will crave the glory of the Fire Nation! This guy's all about it. They're gonna get all liquored up and <laughs> forget about uh <laughs> forget about their Oh doing. there we go! Yep. We all know what that is, don't we? Nice. Answer's got chills over it. Mm. Chills. <laughs> Whoa. I'm bringing in the mead. You know it. As much wine as I could haul. Mm, of course. It's gonna be some night, huh? All clear. Yeah. Oh, here he. He must have snuck into the back. Yeah, he, he goes looking. through the back and goes on the inside yeah. because 
in the cartoon when it's going in, he goes that like that. Ah. Uh, See? Yep, there he is. <laughs> Who's yeah. got the goods? <laughs> ah, you think that's enough? One wagon? Yeah, just the wind. Just the wind. Just the box. Oh no, he's bleeding. <laughs> Catch up. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Reminiscent of the cartoon as well. Sound the alarm. Oh, oh. got him. <laughs> Classic. Those are crappy chains. Or really strong so swords. <laughs> uh, run now. Talk later. Oh, he's really far. Yeah. <laughs> I like because there's a whole big oh, mass like that sticking over to the box. Yeah, that's that's where his eyes are. That's the price you pay for being decorative. Mm -hmm. There just happens to be a they rope. Notice the rope there? There just happens to be a rope hanging over the the wall for his research. Bad news for you, buddy. Sorry, Zhao. It's just Benny Rice. <laughs> the avatar has escaped! There, on the wall! Don't let them get to the gate! Why'd we leave that rope up there, Bill? <laughs> so that way they can slide down if need be. Uh. Oh, oh, just oh. blowing guys off the side! So this is pretty faithful to the cartoon yeah. I, yep. I yep. believe More here. I remember. Yeah. Oh! 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 The old superhero, <laughs> one knee down, sword back. Uh oh. So he do his uh, walking. He's gonna take care of these guys. Oh, Ooh, that guy's not gonna be in season two. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, oh. yes, they're doing it. Nice. <laughs> they're, doing it. <laughs> they're all watching just like the car. They're like, this can't possibly work, can it? Oh. Almost made it. I need the avatar alive. Oh. Ooh, he had a little bit of blood there, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Open gate. Oh, you won this round. Well, take him out. Oh! Yeah, ah, smoke. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. That was a nice little touch. Better move. Oh, check over there. I have a small boat nearby. You can't go anywhere. Not with those soldiers still out there. You shouldn't try to move. You're hurt. <laughs> help. I don't need your help. <laughs> well, apparently you did. Kind of. The old beanbag chair. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Your calligraphy brush, goat hair, or rabbit. Your characters are so neat. I could never get mine like that. Monks used to say lemur droppings were more legible than my brush strokes. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have taken your notebook. You have information on all the past avatars that no one else has. I can't tell you how many nights I stayed up reading it. You helped me a lot. Goat hair. My teachers made me practice every morning. I wasn't allowed to do any fight training un until I had done 100 vertical strokes and 100 horizontal. Me too. Mine were for spiritual studies. A lot of the time when I was supposed to be meditating, I was actually sleeping. I always got caught. 
Probably didn't help I snored. <laughs> a little smile out of Zuko on that one. Why are you fighting them? They're not on my side. If I catch you, I can go home. Then I can take my place as the rightful heir to the Fire Lord. And that's what you want? To be the next Fire Lord? Yes. Of course, it's what everyone expects of me. Gyatso is my teacher. He said we can't worry about anyone else's expectations. I mean, I'm the Avatar. It's what everyone expects of me. Maybe you don't have to be like the other firebenders. You know what the Fire Lord is doing is wrong. So you don't have to be like him. You can show some compassion. It's like you tried to earlier in the war room. Compassion is a sign of weakness. Oh. Oh, KO'd. Boy, he just snaps. Oh. Prepare yourself. Father? You're here because you have no respect for our military. Th that's not true. Really? Even when they come up with terrible plans. My plans! Forgive me, Father. I meant no disrespect. Rise. No, please, Father. I Rise! Ho, ho! Don't do this. He's your son. We'll see. Oh. Didn't put all that time in in the gym for nothing. Yeah. It's going to show off a little bit. Rise and fight, Prince Zuko. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's one hand in it. Ooh. Oh, showed mercy. Mm -hmm. Eey, that's a bad one. Compassion is a sign of weakness. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, look at the way. <laughs> The soldiers are gone. Should be able to get back to your ship without getting spotted. Do you think we could have been friends? Ah, that uh. was just like it! <laughs> yes! Oh, answers anticipation over here for that line. Because that was a... In the cartoon, that was quite powerful. This has yeah. been pretty much one for one, hasn't it? <sighs> it's been pretty close. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it seems like it. Uh, they, they came back and said... <laughs> All right, we see you. <laughs> Here, it just just relax. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I'll wait a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, Zuko cares too much, especially about the people on this ship. Of course, sir. Have you ever wondered how you and the others were assigned this mission? And the good news is, he says your vision will be fine, which means you have the good fortune of continuing to bask in my beauty. <laughs> Oh, I tried. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, it's still just bad. But... Yeah. Speak with my son. He's hurt. He'll recover, but he'll never heal. I, I thought it was Azula at yeah. first, like, coming to rub it in. You held back today. Maybe you saw that as a sign of respect, but it wasn't. It was weakness. You must purge that weakness out of you. You must be willing to give up the weak to make yourself strong. That is what you must do. Sometimes you just have to give them a chance. He took on the 41st. I've sheltered you, and it's made you soft like your mother. Oh, dear. You will leave here immediately, and you are not to return until you have conquered the greatest remaining threat to our nation's destiny. You will find and bring me the Avatar. You are not to set a foot within our borders until this task is completed. And since you're so concerned with the 41st Division, take them with you as your crew. That's all. See, down. that's a whole new dynamic. Yeah, so was that in the cartoon or not? See, I don't... no, but he, he remember, he came back after this and was more respectful to his crew, so then they were more respectful to him. We are the 41st. And you're all alive because of my nephew's sacrifice. There's something out there. Ah, Lieutenant G. It's him. Drop the lines. You're injured. I'm fine. We should have someone look at it. 
He dealt with work. He took an arrow to the head. He had the mask. <laughs> Attention! Our prince has returned. What's going on? They must have missed you at music night. <laughs> But are they still going to take orders from the Admiral? I don't oh, see no, there it is. Nice. I don't see no Admiral on that boat. It's amazing how far we'll go to hide our true selves from the world. Perhaps it's because we don't want people to know how much they really mean to us. Which is funny. <laughs> because the truth... Oh, Momo. Papa! <laughs> we'd travel incredible distances, risk our lives, even fight monsters. Ugh. But I suppose it can be scary to admit you need people. Some might see that as a weakness, a liability. After all, what greater pain is there than losing someone you love? Finding out someone you love has left you behind. Will we talk about it when I get back? Of course. Once I save my friends, we'll have more time. He knew. Mm-hmm. I guess that's why we feel the need to hide away and protect ourselves. <laughs> Got the reveal. It's not hard to understand why. What's hard is knowing that sometimes the mask is who we really are. Oh. I do believe this one looks like it got the answer sign of approval. Oh, yeah. This episode. I mean, this was this was amazing. amazing. Wow. <sighs> you want you want to lead this uh, one? Well, we, can start off, can. we can start off real quick. Okay. You know, I'll go real quick. Yeah, this okay. was just amazing because this was one of the. This is one of my favorite episodes where, you know, it's the first time you see Aang and Zuko working together. You know, granted, Aang doesn't know at the time. And to me, that is such a powerful moment between them as right at the end where he tells him that one of his best friends when he was younger, 100 years ago, you know, was from the Fire Nation and said, you know, and then said we would have been friends too. And, you know, Zuko is still fighting it, goes at it. I mean, they added a little bit more to it in, like, the, that little hut or whatever they're hiding in. But that scene right on the boat is just to me because I love that scene. I thought that set a great tone for their building of them because they obviously they incorporated that with Iroh telling everyone about Zuko's past because that was also huge for them because they didn't understand, like, oh, what sag was it? It's like... Dude, you see the burn. You didn't hear anything. And then it finally took him to realize he did that for them. Told him it was a dumb idea that they could have been sacrificed. Save the and so they finally realized it. And uh, I don't know if G. I I think G was not a, like a reoccurring character. I think they're making him more of a character in this. Right. But we saw that his, his big lieutenant, he was really harsh on for the first like yep. season. So I don't know if, was, if, if he had a name or not. But this was great to show this and just... Him, them getting out of the compound to him being under the wagon to making sure he gets to the that back to accurate. having that rope get up there the whole scene where the guards can't see but they see just the helmet the two go running just just oh i just loved it like this one it seemed like they didn't they took a little bit of liberties maybe here and there but this was pretty spot on even to the fact where like it he had a had the swords and they're like let him out yep and then there came the arrow and he did the whole big you know fog sandstorm whatever and almost ran off because that was in the in the cartoon too he almost ran off till he saw the mask had to take him with him it was i i just loved that whole that whole whole part of it and then in, including iroh on it and then him having the voice over at the end doing the whole thing and discovering the mask was even more amazing to me i thought this was this is i think this so far it's got to be my favorite episode other than one seeing how they just brought it all together at first but this was great because like at first when they did that boathouse and like he knocked them i was like no no they're not saying what i want them to say but i knew but i should have known that you guys would have known how important that was in the whole lore of the first season and they did it and i was so happy about it that's what made the whole episode for me other than a lot of it being right from right from uh the source so i loved it yeah like i said uh 
Okay, Oak and I casual uh, <laughs> fans here, but fans who did enjoy uh, the animated series. And so for this one, it was refreshing for me because this was a huge episode in the cartoon. So this is one that I did remember quite a bit of uh, when it went through and happened. But, you know, I, I, I don't remember uh, a couple of the things, but overall I liked how it kept very much to the animated episode and and like look the the whole idea of you know people wearing masks and not being who they are or is the mask indeed who they really are that's that's kind of been a theme that we've seen before in a few other movies or shows but i really like the way it was done here because you know literally zuko is wearing a mask and he's clearly not being who he truly is he's fighting with who his father wants him to be who he thinks he should be to please him and then who he truly is somebody who does indeed have compassion whether he realizes it or not which he ozai says he got from his mother Mm -hmm. so i I really like uh zuko's arc on this one and how he's coming around and of course the masks and the swords and everything was great oak and i had the question of what why is there a rope there that would make for an easy escape or an infiltration but you know it was it was all a lot of fun and and angrily came a long way in this one as well he was able to get what he needed from the the other avatar you know the little totem and give that give that back to that uh, Oh, I'm still going to say give him back that disgusting creature that was in that cave. just grosses me out every time. But this I one was a lot of fun. This. They Oh, no, the face stealer. Yeah, the face stealer. Yeah, yeah. So they, they talked a lot about, you know, holding back and compassion and being who you really are. And it, it, it does give me vibes of the of the animated series because there was so many lessons and things that you could pull out of that one that this one for all the points that oak brought up in the last episode where i was like oh my god it makes sense to me now i totally get it uh this one was a lot of fun to dive back into and i'm sure many of you enjoyed this one as well and uh again to answer's point i did like the uh, the finish at the end with the boat and and with ang my only question is how did ang move zuko i mean zuko is a pretty big guy you know ang's airbending i uh, think he floated him and just kind of moved him all right that's what well, you could have him on his shoulders and still be able to f- like he's been able to jump with people <laughs> on his backs and stuff <laughs> like that with the airbending I, so first and foremost just just before i dive a little bit further in this one hands down my favorite episode this they they, they fucking nailed it with them. <laughs> <laughs> i mean this was good so a, a question that i um posed um in, in our wrap up of episode five, especially after seeing episode four and being a little sketchy, is uh, why not, given 20 episodes, 22 minutes, why not essentially do a 10 episode season and do one for one? Just along, just basically, just do shot for shot, line for line from the animated series and really do fan service. And watching this episode, it's like, okay, I get it, right? Like, I get it. Now, I, I'm still a little concerned that they pulled material and characters from later on books and pulled them into this first season. But this episode felt like we needed every single minute of it. Mm-hmm. The way they developed the backstory, the way they showed um, the fight between him and his father, the reason why his father burnt his eye, the reason why he banished him. The character development in this episode was just, I thought was just epic. I think they did such a good job with Zuko. The scenes with Zuko and Aang were super powerful. They showed the compassion that Aang has, and even after Zuko tried to attack him in the in the in the little hut they were in, then he tried to do it again out on, on the boat. The boat. <laughs> um, and Aang just kept with the compassion. But you learn where Zuko's backstory is. The reason why he was burnt is the reason why he was banished is just that moment of compassion not only in the war room but that moment of uh, you know hesitating with his dad i mean he what had a beat. what mm-hmm. kid wants to you know hurt your dad mm-hmm. you know yeah. i mean the, so the character development was great they give, they give you a real like there i wouldn't say there's really been a lot of gut punches in this show up to this point but they give you a pretty solid gut punch at the end um when Iroh is telling the, um, I forget the, the, uh, the, 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 the oh, G? G on the boat, like he's like, you don't know. And, and that, God, how fucking true is that for life? Like, 
you we just sometimes you don't know the shit people have been through mm-hmm. you don't you think you see stuff on the outside you don't know what they've been through you don't know what you experience sometimes people don't even know the sacrifices that people have made for other people and it, it was just so true here and it was such a solid lesson like you're in i hey, by the way your entire division was going to get sent in the middle uh for a sacrifice and the reason why Zuko got banished, the reason why he's got a scar on that face, the reason why he can't has no relationship with his father is because he was the one who stood up for you guys. So you're here thinking he's being mean to you. He got he got banished. Yeah, you're on this trip too, but you can go back. You know, he can't go back until he gets the avatar. And the reason that every single one of you is alive is because of him. So and then they showed it at the end. He came back yep. and, and, and just like the first three episodes I thought were fun. The last two didn't love Boomy, and then uh, the last episode, the five, I, I was a little confused and didn't love the way they mixed in some elements from previous episodes and kind of got creative with some of the writing. But like I said, the question that I had the last episode, why not do one for one? You get it when they when they do this because some of the storylines, I think when you watch it and present it like this, you're like, okay, this deserved more than, you know, th- this right. deserved to be an episode. And they could have, they probably looked real realistically. They probably could have taken this story and drawn it out even a little bit further. Um, but it was, uh, as the answer, I'm like, I'm like, you know, again, I'm the casual answer is kind of the expert. I'm looking, I'm like, I think this is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of like one for one. Yeah. Shot for Seemed shot. like it. From the, um, from the animated series so i love this one um the backstory was great the dialogue between ang and um and zuko was great um general iro was great the battle between his father um big shout out to daniel day kim for getting ripped i mean come on um but the and and the choreography for that fight was really good um I, I gotta be honest, like for as much as I enjoyed all the other episodes, this was for me, hands down, the best episode. And now all of a sudden after the last two episodes being like, eh, I, look, I was excited either way. I, again, I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, and, and stomp my feet because it's not, you know, exactly the way the animated series was. I think I just loved the animated series so much. I kind of just wanted to rewatch it in live action. More yeah. or less. I mean, if we, if I'm being honest, like that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to rewatch. <laughs> so you'd have wanted this episode of uh, Aang to go looking out for the frozen frogs and yeah. then get, yeah. get I, caught. I, I, I wanted so that way you can give them to Sokka and, <laughs> I, and Katara yeah, to suck I on, wanted, so they can get over their illness. I yeah. wanted this episode to be one, for, uh, or this, the whole the whole series to be you know one for one. Just just make it the exact same way. And, you know, this at times there's frustration, but when you see it like this, this was done really well. You know, it's interesting, like we're, we're looking over these notes and a lot of these, even the different episodes are directed by different people, Yeah, which um, kind of makes sense, right? They have a little bit different feel to Yeah, them. they have yeah. different feel, but it's so they'll the have first, a different the writer and a two different... episodes were directed oh. by um, uh, Michael Joy. Um, Three and four, Jabbar Raisani. Um, five and six, Roseanne Liang. So very, very uh, conflicting two. for you. Yeah, she, yeah, she did yeah, five, she did five and, and six. six. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe. So here's here's what I'm thinking. It was the, the director, studio. The director, <laughs> no, I'm thinking the director of this is like, okay, I got this much story. I got to yeah. put it together. I'm going to, I think that episode six, this storyline, because look, the reality the is, is well, and answer, answer brought it up earlier. Answer in, the, in, the, in all the series, I th- in in all the books, I think that line could we have been friends before? God, there's some action movie. I forget which one yeah. it is. Like I forget, it's a major action movie, and I'm almost embarrassed that I forget what it was. And it was two almost like enemies, and they're like, in another life, we could have been brothers. Um, I'm gonna have to Google it, but <laughs> as soon as I'm done, we're gonna, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I know it was that. But I think uh, out of everything that happened. Um, in, in all four books, I think that was one of the most powerful episodes because you realize, like, you know, the, are, are they that different of people? Not really. They're just put in such drastically different life situations that pull them and push them in one direction. Now, of course, we know that Zuko has a character arc. And yeah, well, good yeah. Right. So that would be the other thing. Like, I can appreciate it more because it was like the early signs. And, and you could tell... We got a smile from Zuko, so he yeah. wanted mm-hmm. to be there with Aang, uh, yeah. and he just like 
you could, I mean, you could almost call it PTSD, right? Like mm -hmm. he's there with Aang trying to enjoy it. Like, no, I can't show compassion. It's a sign of weakness. And he goes after him. And um, yeah, I just, I can't say enough about this episode. Like I said, uh, hands well, down. It was also best. though, two different writers between each episode. So I don't want to put it all on the director saying conflicting, but like right. yeah, Gabriel uh, himself that. Themself did that the first episode. And then this one was teleplayed by Emily Kim and Hunter Reeves with Brian uh, Konietzko. Story by Uba Muhammad and Brian Kietzko and Michael Dante. De 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 yeah, so, so different writers. Helps. Same director, so, yeah. different writers. Yeah. And, and look, and, and it's interesting and we don't know that much about how all this stuff is done but if you look at each episode this is this is what throws me off and and again i don't know how this is done i, I understand like each one of these is essentially a shortened version of shooting a movie right so it's like i don't think you could have the same director and writer for everything but at the same time it's like uh, how do you get that continuity yeah you see that with a lot of shows. four different directors yep. for the eight Different writers for every single one. Why um, the story is so good is it was Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Ikiesko. Yeah. Those are the two creators of the animated series. Yep. So that's yeah. probably why also well, but, yeah, but Mass the, was pretty good. Yep, and they had they got credited for the story there, but I think the teleplay is yeah, how, but that's how right. Emily but and Brian Hunter is and also, Brian. Oh, yeah, Brian but Brian's still was, on there. Yeah. Oh, that's so that was the, the conversion to that's the interesting. So I think that's why maybe that one was so close to the yeah, material as well. Mm, that's very interesting. Is mm -hmm. the story they they interesting mm -hmm. yeah. yep. so that, that i mean that can certainly help Very out but, but yeah yeah i mean like i said uh, n one is the only other one that can get can possibly go after it. that's just because that's how we got all introduced to everyone and still fell in love with the characters but this one was if this is a number one this is like i'm i could just go one a and one b really with yeah. it because yep. that's that's how good this, this one was good. done yeah and absolutely. it had the best it had one of the best uh good. one of the best uh interactions between zuko and ang until they start working together in season three because then that's one see that's what i'm looking forward to too is and, and i know i'm getting way ahead of myself I the beach just, party <laughs> Seated. Well, the beach party, the beach party, the beach party yeah, where they want to have fun, and uh, Zuko's like, "What is wrong with you?" And like yep. that, their whole interactions and everything, and even the uh, classic uh, Zuko going, oh, that's rough, buddy." <laughs> so <laughs> we're definitely looking forward to that. But yeah, great episode. We got two more of this first season, and we almost got like a little bit of a side quest where Aang rescued all the townspeople. So yep. I know we side quests were big on the end. They were series, very big in the end, and we kind of got one in this one, even though they they're limited with only this eight. This one's episodes. my favorite. So, this one's my yeah. favorite. Ladies so this and was really good. So much fun. We got two more to go. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.